let's take a look at this problem. We got x plus 8y is equal to 2 and negative 7x plus 2y is equal to negative 3. And um, we're going to use calculator to solve this. And it's already in perfect form. We have the x's, y's over on this side, numbers, the constant terms on this side. Um, x's are lined up, y's are lined up, numbers are lined up on the other side. So we're going to drop the x's, the y's, and the equals, and keep the numbers in their signs. So I got 1, 8, 2, negative 7, 2, negative 3. Size of this matrix is a 2 by 3. So let's go enter this in. So I'll do second x negative 1, then left arrow over to edit, enter on A. It's a 2 by 3, so I do 2 enter, 3 enter. And I'll type in each number, pressing enter after each one. So 1 enter, 8 enter, 2 enter, negative 7 enter, 2 enter, negative 3 enter. I'll exit out, so I'll do second mode. I go back in my matrix menu, second to x negative 1. I'm going to right arrow to math, up arrow to RREF, press enter. Go back in my matrix menu, second x negative 1, enter on A, enter again. We get decimals, we don't want decimals, so we'll do math, enter, enter to change the fraction. And then we get 1001, 14 over 29, 11 over 58. Two equations, two variables. Our first 2 by 2 square here should be a diagonal of 1, 0, 0 else. If it is, that means it worked, and the far right column is our answer. So this will be x, and this will be y. So we're going to have 14 over 29, comma, 11 over 58. And that's our answer.